Well, we're back here in Asbury Park, New Jersey. I am, in fact, Tim McLoone. This is Amy Brosa, my co-host. We want to thank our audience for being here at the uh, Supper Club on the Boardwalk in Beautiful. Asbury Park. And uh, we are joined, sadly, by a uh, alleged good friend of ours, Bob Bandiera. Hello, Robert. No, I'm out. Oh, oh. Ow. No, no. Oh, no. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than that, though. We have Jillian Reese McCoy with us here. She has to lean forward for that one. We are only putting up with you to get her on the show. Is I just want you to know. Is that your real name? Jill, yes. Jilly? Okay. <laughs> so, so, Bob, you've been on tour with uh, John Bon Jovi for how long, actually? Besides, don't say too long, but how long it feels was it like actually? 20 years. But was it three? <laughs> like three it's years? Been, it's my uh, fourth, this last tour was my fourth world tour. So, in the last eight years, I've been going on the road. Really? That's, that's really I mean, with, uh, wow. John so, bon do you like it? I mean, I, it's obviously, it's lucrative. You get huge crowds. Everybody I do like it. I, I like it. Playing in, in uh, different parts of the world for people who appreciate what we're doing, and, and it's, it's a big thrill. I think it's insane that the Rock and Roll Hall, of, I don't mean to pull on that scab, but that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has not put John in. Do you have any it, idea why that is? Yeah, you know, it's, it's silly, isn't it? It's stupid. The guy's been around doing it as long as anybody else and has had as many hit records, more than a lot more of people. More than most of them. The most. And, uh, and it, he draws it, huge crowds. I don't, get it. It, it, I don't get it. I don't get it's it. It's more like snubbing hey. you know, their nose at the, he, at the audience. He owes somebody money that he's, he's not paying up. I don't know. <laughs> well, he hasn't paid you, right? Are, are you Correct. still waiting for a few? No, Correct. I don't pay you either. <laughs> Correct. I'm still waiting. Stop. Actually, the sad part Stop. is that when you and I work together, I have to pay, I have to, pay to play with you. That's, That's right. what it really That's comes true. down to. That's, That's right. true. I think it's sad. Jillian, you don't have to do that, right? No, I no. never would. But you do have a show coming. <laughs> <laughs> but Smart you do have a show Jillian. coming up here at uh, the Supper Club this coming Friday and Saturday. In fact, the uh, 29th and 30th That's right. of August. And what's the show, the, Bob? The Brill Building. Please, God, sell us some tickets right We're now. We're going to do please? some Burt Bacharach, Neil Diamond, Carol King. Well, explain Jillian, to people what the Brill Building is if they're not familiar with that. Uh, the, 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 the building in New York City where all the songwriters that were big at the time and becoming big at the time were hired to write songs for, for everybody who was anybody singing on the radio, Four Tops, uh, anybody. I find it hard to believe, actually, that... In essence, artists could be put into a building, into a room, and say, "Write some hits." Yes, that but was their job. Did. Yeah, that was their job. You know, if you think about Hired Cat Stevens, the, the legendary, maybe not true, apocryphal story about him going up to a cabin in the woods for like a year and then coming back with tea for the tournament or something yeah. like that. I used to go to that place, cabin in the woods. Really? Years ago, yeah. It was a cool rock and roll place. How'd it work out? Songwriting was. Good. I came right back afterwards. <laughs> with nothing. Stay long. <laughs> Anyway, well, well, so maybe uh, you'll do one of the songs that came out of the Brill Building here. Yes, yes. I think we're to. in the key of this, key of C. That's right. This is Bob Bandiera. Where it began, I can't begin to know. But then I know it's going strong. was in the spring and spring became the summer who to believe you come along and reaching out touching me touching Touching everybody <laughs> Sweet Caroline Good time never seems so good I'd be inclined To believe there ever would But Look at the night And it don't seem so lonely We fill it up 
with only two And when I hurt Hurt runs off my shoulder How can I hurt when holding you Warm Touching warm Reaching out, touching me, touching you, sweet Caroline, good time never seems so good, I'd be inclined Good times never seem so good Sweet Caroline Who'd believe they were good Oh, no, oh, yeah Bob Bandiera Thank you, thank you, Tim. Thank you, thank you, everybody. So that's one out of the Brill Building. That's right. I, I, we just got a call. We Neil had Diamond, four yeah. people cancel their reservation for Friday. <laughs> they I'm got sorry. enough just now. Sorry to tell you that. Only they got four. <laughs> yeah, now, we we're just, down to eight people now, and just heard it. We don't have six of them here that you owe them money, and they're hoping to collect when they get sure. here. That's well, I got quarters. <laughs> I got quarters. Well, Jillian is also going to perform this show, and she's part. Well, what do you refer to your? Uh, your rambling group that does these shows periodically at the Count uh, Basie as well as this the room. Knuckleheads. Just the knuckleheads. <laughs> no, that's what they refer the to you Shore as. The Jersey Shore Rock and Soul Review. Is it? Yes, New Jersey Shore Rock and Soul Review. Exactly. I mean, you've done some of the... I hate to say anything nice about you, but the Bee Gees show it's you did was painful. astonishing. There's nothing else. And your legendary uh, yeah. Roy Orbison show. That yeah. We can't seem to get you to repeat. We'll bring that here. We'll bring that here. We're going to try and get that yeah, going. Yeah, we'll bring that here. So uh, I have to tell you that after you have wowed this large crowd on Friday and Saturday, Amy and I will be here on Sunday with Benny King. Oh, that's right. And yeah. uh, I do know that. he'll Thanks be here that. on the 31st doing just some minor hits that he had under the board. Oh, Save the last dance yeah. for me. This magic moment. So you're yeah, no. Stand by yeah. me. You're not Robin Quivers? No, no. Yeah. I aspire to be. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry? I so Bon Jovi is off the road now for a while, and uh, yes. so what happens next? Does he say or? Yeah, no, you know he's trying to buy his football team, and, mm. and uh, so I'm heard. not sure things are going these days with it. But Buffalo uh, Bills. We'll see. We'll to see. Be specific. Where it goes? Yeah, Buffalo Bills. But I love the fact that your his uh, sort of satellite band that you lead yes. has been getting more headlines lately. <laughs> it was, you know, sort of in the background, the kings of suburbia. That's All up. of a sudden, it's showing up in headlines and stuff. That's it's hilarious. Right. So, I mean, I that's a heck it. of a Ma, band. I made it big. You're a king of suburbia. That's right. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun doing that. He, he likes doing it because he, he gets away from having to do his whole Bon Jovi thing all show long for his two and a half hours. He steps out and, and does uh, a, a few covers, which is a lot of fun for, for anybody to do. Jump up there and do six, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, The Letter. We do uh, uh, Under Pressure, Bob O'Reilly. It's a lot of fun. That's great. A lot of fun. So I noticed one thing about John, though, that you and he have in common, that he decided to go gray. That's we right. are on the radio right now, so no one can see this, but John Bon Jovi, if you see the pictures of him lately, yes. he's done with the dark hair. He's yeah. letting it out, and you apparently are emulating Well, I went this. one step further and, and had my beard come, come out gray here. And, uh, we noticed that. You know, people say thinking. that you look like you're 80. I say it's not true. No, 80, 72. 82. 72 oh, at the most. 72, okay. Yeah, at the most. Yeah, well, 
I'm going to start going back. Don't say backwards. poor Bob. Don't <laughs> give no, him credibility. No. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, John. I'm going to go backwards now. I'm, I'm going to go ha- like. And what was that movie where the guy aged backwards? Brad Pitt? Dorian Gray? Right. No. no. Brad Pitt? Yes. Brad oh. Thank you, Benjamin That's the one. Button. That's the one. I'm That's older me. than you. Dorian I'm Gray going Dorian Disney's Gray. Did his face yeah. melt? Yeah, I don't know. It's a whole uh, picture. Uh, so at any rate, so the Brill Building Show will be this Friday and Saturday here at the Supper Club in Asbury Park with yes. Bob and Bam. But in that band is the fabulous Jillian Reese McCoy, who's going to do another song from that right now, a, uh, a Carole King song. And, and we say a lot about Carole King songs, despite uh, Beautiful coming out, which exposes a lot of people to material that they did not you know, associate with her. I think very few people know that she wrote this one. So, uh, you all set? Here we go. This is so, Jillian Reese McCoy. So, Jillian, we're going to come down five, four, and then to the one, all right? Is that good for you? <laughs> Just play the song. <laughs> Well, listen, thanks for being here. I hope we get a big crowd here this weekend, Friday, Saturday night, right here at the Supper Club in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Yeah, man. The old Howard Johnson building, the uh, Brill Building show at the Howard Johnson building. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Lots of buildings going on. But uh, (laughs) Bob and Jillian, and how large is the band? Oh, well, there's going to be 11 or 8 people. 11 or 8? Yeah, at least. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Scary. About 11 people, I think. Under. Well, anyway, we'll be back with another guest shortly, and we hope you'll stay tuned. We hope you're enjoying your Sunday morning with us right here at the Tim McLoon Radio Show. Thanks, Bob. Woo-hoo.